In this video, we're going to be talking about how to add face tracking blend shapes to your avatar and then uploading it to VRChat. So now for adding face tracking to your avatar for VRChat, if you know VRChat, you're probably already familiar with Unity and the VRChat Creator Companion. So just obviously open that up, make a project. Um, you will need a couple of things though for the project. So go down to settings, your packages, and you need to add in a few repositories. Um, um, VR, VRM converter for VRChat, uh, VRC Fury, and VRC FT Jerry's templates. I'll leave the the links to the repositories in the description, then you just know how to add the repositories. Place them in here, add them, and then activate them. Okay, and then we'll just add the uh, files that we want. Okay, so from here we have this install. We still need to install HANA Tool. Now I'm going to be using HANA Tool version 4, which is for VRM0, uh, just because this is the uh, version that I'm most familiar with. So. We download it from Booth, and then import the package. And then we're also going to import our avatar now from Vroid. So we've had our Vroid avatar, import. So we're gonna add this avatar, create it obviously, we know how to do this. And then from here, we're going to go to Hannah Tool, Reader, we grab the face mesh, put it on here. Now so make sure to select the correct one. Uh, for any new avatars on Vroid from the current version of Vroid, uh, you'll want to use one of these two, not the uh, these ones. Otherwise, it'll break the avatar. So um, pick whichever one is most applicable to your avatar, and then read the blend shapes. And once that's done, we go back up to Hannah Tool, uh, Clip Builder, and grab the uh, prefab for your avatar over here, Clip Build. If we're done with that, then we can uh, duplicate it for uh, VR Chats. Or select the avatar VRM1, duplicate and convert for VR chat. Let's hide this version. As well, we also have um, VRC Jerry's templates. So we can grab a prefab here for um, AR kit. So we grab the AR kit, blend shapes, prefab, attach that to the avatar. We're using the VRC Fury, so it should automatically add it. Now I did find that just doing this and then uploading the avatar sometimes had problems with the values being too high. So we'll just check those, um, the eye rotation. Let's grab the avatar in here so we can see. Yeah, so as you can see, the uh, avatar eye rotation is too much. It's actually clipping into, um, into the head. So what I had to do is uh, just open all these up in the animator and just um, lower these values. So let's go, um, that's one, that seems fine. So we'll just have to go through all of these. So my one, so, no, we'll do zero, five, that one, we can go less. And this is the kind of the tedious part. I mean, all the hard part with the uh, blend shapes are done already. But just. And this can change for every avatar, obviously, because they're all slightly different. So just check and see what works best for you. And uh, yeah, let's just check the rest of these. See again, the eyebrows are a bit too much. So yeah, we'll just bring these down to 50%. Now this stuff, I'll bring it down to like 90 for the mount jaw open. Uh, it's basically the same ones you have issues with normally with Hannah Tool. Just go through them. It should be mouth mouth closed. It's probably too much. Yeah. So bring that down to zero point one. There's a little bit to go through it all, but. Once those are all done and set up for the 
um, the add-on there for the prefab. Uh, we should be good to go. So just uh, upload the avatar. WRHISDK. WRHIS. Just upload the avatar, I guess. Um, we can always come back and tweak it, tweak it later. So. Alrighty then, and then we just uh, install VRCFT or VRC face tracking, uh, third party add third party add on that I'll also link in the description. Um, install the proper module for whatever headset you're using. I'm using the Quest Pro, so just select that module using virtual desktop, uh, allow tracking information to go through that, and uh, yeah, we'll see it in VRChat and see how it works. So yeah, this is the uh, avatar in VRChat after having the uh, face tracking add-ons. Now, it, obviously it can be adjusted a bit, um, you can tweak it more in the settings, but uh, just as a quick something to um, have working without very much input, it, uh, this is decent enough. So it's something to try out and uh, work on yourself, experiment with, and see what works best for you.